So hello there, my name is Lanius and welcome to another, actually maybe first proper video in a while here and as you probably hmm, already see by the title I'm gonna be talking about Linux being unstable so, so if you are a Linux nerd which probably you are if you are watching this you've seen that Linux cast had a similar video and it's not that I'm just making the same video because I kind of have some um, a response uh, to his points so hmm first of all um, Linux is kind of unstable but why? So, of course, the first uh, argument would be, oh, it's not Linux, it's because this and that program. So, the first thing that makes Linux significantly, I mean, the Linux desktop significantly less stable than, you know, Mac OS or Windows, is the fact that Linux is basically built from a bunch of separate software projects that are often not even necessarily mm, aimed at just Linux or given distro or whatever and well they sometimes have some problems have some bugs and you know in mac os or in windows uh, the default applications the default core elements of the system are actually made by one company okay so every aspect of this is in control of this given company so microsoft or uh, or apple right and in linux this is a little more complicated because especially with rolling distros the changes are pushed so quickly they aren't really tested that much and there are problems sometimes and and yeah and the problem is that the linux distro you are using that has this problem actually don't really have control over this problem so you can't really blame them that you know something is not working let's say i don't know uh, some let's say latte dog the dog in in in, in kd which is a actually a, an issue i had and i reported that but I heard that the distro is not responsible for that so great what am i going to do now i mean of course it's true they're not responsible for that but how do i get a fix for the system that i'm using right so that's why the enterprise distros like you know red hat uh, they are very old they have really old packages the old old versions because most of the problems that have been there are either known or fixed nothing new is really rolling out to these packages they have their own fixes or patches that are usually also push, pushed uh, upstream i mean to the projects uh, that they are using so they actually have some control over how the system works right ubuntu i mean the stable release of ubuntu i guess it has some control because there are some older packages but uh, uh, i forgot how they call it interim or whatever uh, releases not so much 
and for some fucking reason I always had most problems with Ubuntu, no matter if it was stable or not. Only Ubuntu version that worked flawlessly always without any single tiniest issue was the dev snapshot. So the version that was actually supposed to break sometimes, it never did. But the stable one, it was always something with graphics. The desktop freezing after some time, it started just going nuts. And it's not only me that uh, reports that, because I've seen some videos that actually this happened so maybe maybe somewhere there is the reason that people think that linux is not stable because it just sometimes randomly breaks and it is the the linux distro ubuntu maybe maybe i don't know so i already touched touched the subject here but yeah so the argument that oh it's not linux it's not the linux distro that is broken that is unstable it's just this one package from this and that project that doesn't work so we cannot do anything the developers have to do something well thanks now you cannot do anything and i need to rely on some other project to fix the problem I have on your distribution. You can see a problem here. I mean, of course I understand why that is and that, that, that is true, but from the perspective, you know, of a regular casual user, I would actually want, you know, I'm reporting an issue to the maintainer of my operating system and they say, we can't do anything. You have to go to GitHub, to whatever, uh, re report the issue. And if it's uh, if it's not like stable distro, but a rolling one, then maybe you will have the fix. If it's a stable distro, You're not going to get the fix unless it's something really, you know, critical. Yeah. Also one of the things that I guess it it's in the same category, let's say, that Linux class has said that, oh, this problem is with the desktop environment, not with the distribution. What is a desktop environment? It will be a question mo most of like casual users would would ask, or users that are not really that mm, ingrained into you know Linux ecosystem. They don't know really that there is something else than GNOME because they maybe only use Ubuntu uh, all the time, right? So for a user, actually every user, other than, you know, some heavy tinkerers, you get the, the system, the distribution, and you treat it as a, you know, complete system with the desktop, with all everything that's going on in the backend. Not that, you, you know, oh, this thing is separate, this is separate, etc., etc., right? So, so if something is broken, it is broken and it is Linux, so Linux is unstable, so I'm going to, I don't know, not use it or use other distribution and whatever. Because not everyone would go and, I don't know, try other desktop environment, try some fixes, some whatever. And... Uh, and yeah, so Linux is kind of unstable because it is just so mm, fragmented. And I don't mean that there is a thousand 
or a million distribu different distributions out there but that the one given distribution itself is already kind of fragmented because they have kernel from the Linux kernel they have GNOME from GNOME or KDE from the, from the KDE foundation they have some mm, other projects that are not maybe a direct part of GNU project or not or some just some really tiny project some projects from uh, maintained by some companies like Red Hat even you know the uh, printing server is maintained by Apple by the way uh, so there's really many points of failure I'm this is what I'm going at so unless you're using like Red Hat which is even older than Debian stable usually at least at the point I was looking at it it had older packages than than Debian old stable so because the new stable is quite new at this point I mean the older one so other than that there is a risk of instability you don't really get with proprietary uh, writing system so that's that and a little anecdote which I already said about Ubuntu giving me so much weird problems also I had it with OpenSUSE as well OpenSUSE Leap which was just a pile of garbage uh, I never had any issues like that with Arch Linux which is the go-to distribution to break have these all weird problems developers shipping some totally broken core packages I don't know I just been lucky I guess that it never have broken for me if there was some problem it was like tiny one fixed just by next update which was I don't know next day so I I, mean, I, I was not really mm, on that train but after some time I think that maybe really the rolling uh, distribution model is actually better for the desktop because if something in the you know multitudes of packages is broke is broken somewhere since the updates are coming constantly there's more chance that this will be fixed like quickly not like in the stable distributions which could just you know keep some obscure bugs because they are just keeping the older version of the given package given library given whatever so yeah that was this talking head linux video that wasn't there for a quite a while i also hope you liked the uh, the creepypasta video it was very late and, and i guess it wasn't really that mm, great but uh, maybe it was all right i don't know <laughs> anyway thank you for watching uh, leave a comment like subscribe follow me on twitter or x or what, whatever so thank you the camera is way too close but that's because it looked just weird when i had this camera here and it was going it was showing my whole room which just was Mac. Now you can only see my bed, which is also not great, but it's still better. So, anyway, thank you for watching and see you in the next one. Bye bye.